Day three of SEC Media Days. You got Mississippi State, you got Tennessee, you got Missouri. Most importantly for everybody <laughs> watching and for most people right here, Alabama is up. Mike, you went through this almost 10 years ago. Yeah. It's pretty nuts. <laughs> What's the process as a player both to start the day and kind of what are you told by the coaching staff coming into this? Uh, not a lot. And I think that, listen, Nick Saban doesn't have to tell you much because he's going to he's gonna select you because he trusts you, right? He's, he knows that, you know, who, what he can bring around, he knows who he can trust. And we got uh, a lot of preparation on the way up. And obviously ours is a little bit of a different commute because we're going just up to Hoover. Uh, so we're right in the back of a van. But very long day, very tedious day. A lot of the same questions 20 and 30 times. But uh, overall an honor to kind of, uh, you know, be the face of the program for at least a few hours. A lot of the same questions is probably going to be a theme today for Nick Saban. I think it's going to start with the quarterbacks. I mean, do you think that's what everybody's concerned with here today? I think everybody's concerned with it, but I think people are going to be hesitant to ask the question out loud. I think that Nick Saban's, you know, probably teed up pretty good. He's waiting for that soft toss. Who's going to be the first one to, to give it to him? And, uh, you know, listen, he hasn't shied away from the quarterback competitions uh, so much as he did last year. And uh, I think he's going to probably come in – with a very interesting, prepared answer. I think that he's probably been getting ready for this moment because he knows it's coming. And uh, I look forward to hearing what he says. I really am. Like, uh, you know, I, I think I know what he's going to say and the gist of what he's going to say, but interesting to kind of look at the details that he might bring to the table today. Outside of quarterbacks, kind of what do you, what do you want to hear from him? What are you looking forward to, to for him talking about in terms of Alabama? Yeah, no, I think it, it goes back to leadership. It goes back to the defensive backfield, finding your new Minka Fitzpatrick, finding – uh, Tony Brown, Hootie Jones, I mean, you name it, Ronnie Harrison, finding all those guys. Because when we transition from year to year in position groups, you always have somebody else you can look up to, somebody you can bounce ideas off of, somebody that's been there. It's not going to be the case this year in the secondary. So I think Nick Saban really, with a couple of new secondary coaches, really has an uphill climb in terms of what he's going to be able to do this year. And I, I look forward to kind of hearing those answers of how those guys are going to develop. Jeremy Pruitt's about to take the stage here in a little bit at the main room at the College Football Hall of Fame. What are your expectations for him taking that job in Knoxville? Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I think he's got an uphill climb. I already said hello to him a minute ago in the hallway, and it's nice to catch up with him. But listen, the expectations are going to be through the roof at Tennessee, and this year they have an incredibly tough schedule. They've got some tough games to be played. I think that getting to bowl eligibility is probably a realistic goal. But I know Jeremy Pruitt. He's not pointing to bowl eligibility. He's pointing to you know the daily process and being the best they can possibly be. And Honestly, at this point, I know there's going to be a lot of pressure in the long run, but I think at this point, that's all Tennessee fans can ask for. He may not say it, but I will. Hopefully, he's part of the Alabama broadcast this fall. But right now, he's doing SEC country, floating around here at Media Days. Mike Johnson, former All-American at Alabama. We appreciate your time. Yeah, good to be back with you, brother.